Marietta police are getting up to speed on a disease that impacts one in three senior citizens. But to better understand dementia and other memory loss disorders, they are also suiting up. You actually put them in with the spikes up and it simulates the feeling of neuropathy in their feet. So the pins and needle feeling that you get. Then comes the gloves to impair mobility in their hands and special glasses to simulate macular degeneration. And lastly, a headset filled with noise. It's all for a virtual dementia tour offered by Vineyard Place. We are um, looking at a 30% increase in um, dementia diagnosis over the next few years. This tour that they go through um, really does give them the empathy they need. The officers are given four simple tasks to perform in a dimly lit room, from folding towels on a bed to setting a table with plates and cutlery to sorting the precise amount of change and placing it into a change purse, to opening a pill bottle and putting a single pill into a cup. They soon discovered those simple tasks weren't so easy. I wasn't able to really see in the room. I wasn't able to tell what was the difference between a spoon or a fork. And there was so much going on that, yeah, you just really had to sit there and focus. Um, to, to do simple tasks. The eye-opening experience gives a brief glimpse into the reality of someone living with dementia or Alzheimer's. We often get calls for, you know, people with Alzheimer's or dementia that are lost or that have wandered away from home. But once we find them, then interacting with them is where this will come into play and be really good. Once the tour is over, you can take off the gloves, the headset and the glasses something someone dealing with dementia cannot do. The tour meant to change the mindset of those who interact with those who are suffering from memory loss. It Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.